Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video on Conflux and the CFX coin. Wanted to do a quick update on that. I covered this a couple of days ago, I think last, uh, last week. Still wanted to update it again because it has been quite bearish and it has been falling quite a bit. Uh, like we had this, uh, we talked about this earlier. We had this bearish break, uh, bearish breakout through 30 cents. But then we also broke down below 28 cents, even though the market was actually pretty, pretty stable yesterday. We did get some bearish momentum, I, uh, I have to admit. But Conflux, actually what we did is we had quite a major bearish breakout. Like we broke down below this entire level, which uh, at, at the very bottom we have 27 and a half cents which is also, apart from being a technical resistance level right now, or at least a technical key level, it's also a psychological level. Also broke down below a major trend line, and we are trending, so that does count, and that does mean something. So overall, I'm not sure if conflicts can actually recover a little. But that's what we'll talk about. We'll also talk about the reasons for why we are bearish, if you're interested in that. Um, so yeah, I'll try, to, uh, I'll try to prepare you as well as possible for, uh, for everything that can happen with conflicts. Before we get into that, though, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, check out the links down in the description or in the pinned comment, and there you'll find instructions on how to join. So now onto conflict. So to start off with a little bit of the fundamentals, right? I think one of the biggest reasons why conflict is bearish right now <clears throat> is the opening of crypto in Hong Kong. And I know that sounds weird because you would say, well, that's, that's bullish news. And I agree on the long term, it's definitely bullish. Um, and with opening crypto in Hong Kong, I mean, obviously, that uh, exchanges could apply for a license in Hong Kong, Hong Kong, something like that. And you cannot actually buy CFX yet, only a few other cryptos. But we actually got some bullish momentum before that, right about half a month before that, we actually got some bullish momentum. Now, I think that bullish momentum was in anticipation of that which probably worked. I mean, if you bought down here, you would have probably been able to sell up here, right? If you, if you manipulated it all the way up there, because in the end, trading usually is a game of manipulation. But now that's over. So there's just these sell-offs of people who bought back here, still selling at a profit. Um, and that's what's going on. It's buy the rumor, sell the news, right? So it's buy the event that's coming up and then sell afterwards. I think that's happening. Doesn't mean, I mean, Conflux is an amazing project. So it, it doesn't mean that right now it's it's all over. It just means that um, it's more likely to drop down a bit. Like even right now, like I said, we had this bearish breakout. I would say there is a chance that we can recover because I actually do think there's a, there, there's a chance of having some sort of a bullish Bitcoin today. But the thing is, is that what we would need to do with Conflux is we would need to have a bullish breakout all the way above 28 cents. So that's not that difficult. It's a possibility, but it's pretty difficult from here, especially if you check out the, 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 mom the momentum over the last couple of, uh, well, the last week, it's just been bearish. And we've never really been able to get a move like that in the last week, uh, like I said. So that's the main thing. I think it's more likely that we'll get up there We'll kind of consolidate, but then at some point of time, we'll drop down to these levels right here again, around 25 cents. I'd say that has like a like a 75% chance, given the current market structure, the circumstances, and what I think about conflicts. There is a chance, like I said, 25% that we get up here around 28 cents, which I do expect. We'll probably find resistance initially either way, but then if we can actually break above that, break above that 28 cents level, then we're fine. Then, then we can just get up to like 30 cents and kind of consolidate here. Overall, the direction might still be down, but then at least on the short term, we have some bullish momentum. So if you're buying conflux, that's really the thing to bank on. For now, though, this is my analysis and my take on conflux. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.